candlestick charts and patterns reveal a heck of a lot more than just watching to see what's happening at in perceived human uh, support and resistance levels. The 20,000 mark on the Dow has been the target for the last month and a half. Just never got there. However, we could see in the candlestick charts that we had a bullish engulfing left-right combo after a doji. And then they gapped it up yesterday through the 2,000 and traded higher. So the fact that there was a 20,000, I'm going to say 2,000, 20,000 mark is irrelevant. It's what investor sentiment is telling us is happening. So now that the 20,000 mark is out of the way, what's investor sentiment doing? Well, we can pretty much see wave one, wave two. Now we've kicked into wave three. There's a good prospect that we could have another strong rally based on this move over here for the next few weeks. Uh, right now, if that's the uh, scenario, it allows candlestick investors to take advantage of price patterns that are setting up very, very nicely. Being able to analyze which chart patterns are working most effectively can be applied to whether you're buying stocks or options, as we can see in the Amazon chart. As soon as the uh, price moved up, coming out of this little scoop pattern, breaking out through the 50 on a little best friend signal gap up, consolidation, slow curve, bullish engulfing signal, right smack dab off the, uh, the T-line. Then notice what happened when it broke out. There's our doji sandwich. Very simple uh, analysis of human nature. Big up move, consolidation, simple rule of the doji. It's going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji. When it opens positive, we can pretty much be assured that this magnitude of move right here is going to be the same as this magnitude move right here, thus the doji sandwiched in between, which also tells us our J-hook pattern is still in progress. And if we know we have a J-hook pattern that's kicked out uh, into new uh, territory because of a doji sandwich, we also know what the results of a doji sandwich are more upside. This allows investors to much more clearly analyze and take advantage of a price move based upon what individual uh, uh, candlestick patterns or signals are occurring in that pattern. And it works equally well whether long or short. Notice our bearish engulfing signal right here that brought us down through the T-line on uh, Pier 1. We've just stayed short until we saw what it did when it got to the next target, which is the 50-day moving average. Today it traded below. So knowing what to expect in the oversold area, and we're at a possible major support level, we'd be a little, we're going to be a little bit more diligent as far as seeing what type of uh, buying or selling is occurring here. If it opens lower and trades lower, we stay short, obviously. And what becomes the next target? Down here, filling the gap. So candlestick analysis is merely just analyzing what's going on in investor sentiment and where everybody on their charts are watching to see what the next targets will be. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.